Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Connection. I'm Mark Burroughs. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Well, sir, it is a wonderful Wednesday, and uh, it's a great day to be alive in the Lord, connected to his word, connected to him, knowing that he's the one we call wonderful counsel of mighty God. Amen, amen, amen. And we thank you for that introduction, and we want to let you know that the meal for the day is Sasha's Link. Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard. I've, I've heard that said. But either way you say it, you get that high blood pressure. Yeah, <laughs> I dig it. And, and, and we get ready to get on the high with the words that you got for us this morning, Pastor. And I know you got a great one. That news that we can use. So I'm gonna step aside and let you take it right now. We'll cry in action, Pastor. You got it. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing with you the word of God. As God said through the prophet Jeremiah, I will give you uh, pastors after my own heart. It will feed you with knowledge and with understanding. That's our desire to bring a knowledge and understanding of the living God and his word to us every single day. Because you know what? We can feed on the knowledge and understanding of God, and it has no detriment to us. It simply brings life to us as we find it, and it brings health to all our flesh. As such, friend, I will choose to feed on the word of God. How about you? Jesus said, uh, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That means then that when we take the words of our Lord and we feed upon them, we are, we are literally taking spiritual substance into our being and uh, we're taking life itself into our being. And uh, that's, that's, that's God's design. Even as the apostle Pilate or Peter writes that we are begotten not by an incorruptible seed, 1 Peter chapter 1, but by the incorruptible seed of the word of God. Well, you and I know the physical concept of seed in terms of just natural gardening and farming and uh, forestry and all of those things. You plant a seed and whatever seed you plant grows and comes and uh, up builds a root system and comes up out of the ground and grows and produces fruit. We know from a human standpoint and a reproductive standpoint that the male imparts his seed into a female host. And uh, that uh, coming together uh, produces an offspring. Well, when the Bible says that we are born again by the incorruptible seed of the word of God, that means literally God's seed is in us. And that's what brings us to this born again life, this new life that reflects him in every way. We've been talking about in a series this month called uh, The Gifts of God in You. And we've been talking about, first of all, the fruit <clears throat> of the spirit. From Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, gentleness, faith, meekness, and temperance. You know, sometimes we think of these as virtues to be attained, that virtues that we have to strive for. But I believe that's an incorrect concept. When we see and know and understand that it is the fruit of God's spirit, the fruit of the spirit, the fruit of God's nature on the inside of us is not something to be attained. It's something that we are. The very seed of God on the inside produces a fruit that is us that shows forth in love, in joy, in peace, in patience, 
and goodness and gentleness and faith and meekness and temperance. That's why we have to get knowledge and understanding. You could be, as a Christian, a follower of Christ, trying to attain something that is already who you are. And you could be missing out on life and living life to its fullest, seeing all of these attributes and fruit that are the byproduct of the seed of God, the new person that you are made in Christ, flourishing, you see, in the kingdom of God and God's work. It's bearing fruit is about simply being what he has made you to be. It is simply living out what he has already made you. That's why we're taught in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 18 to grow in grace and in the knowledge of him. What exactly does that mean? Grow in the unmerited, undeserved favor of God, the honor and favor that has bestowed upon us in Christ and made us all that he wants us to be. So now we grow in what he has made us such that the fruit of his spirit begin to flourish in him. I'm declaring to you today, if you've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, you have been made of God. The very fruit of love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, gentleness, faith, meekness, and temperance is in you because the seed of God is on the inside of you. Let it flourish. Be who you are today and share it with others. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, now on YouTube. There you will find these and other encouraging words to declare the love that God has for you, the uh, identity that you have in him, to make him known and to declare that we together are the difference that makes the difference that God desires and we desire in this world as we awaken to his purpose of knowing him and the love that he has for us mobilize his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. Hey, enjoy you some good sausage, however you like it today, but don't overdo it. Words of advice that are quite rich, man, I tell you what. Hey, you know, Pastor, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, on the Western, you see him sitting around, and eating, 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 Chicken out of egg, which came first? I guess they took chicken to show the chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you have a great Wednesday, Pastor Ross. We'll be listening to you tomorrow and be talking back at you on Friday. And we just want you to have a blessed day today. Yes, sir. Blessings on you and the gospel explosion. Hey, Pastor Ross, you have a great Wednesday. Thank you. Yes, sir. Blessings on you and the gospel explosion. Family, for keeping Jesus as the center of our joy all day long. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. Have a great day. You too now. Bye bye. -bye. All right. Hey, go in the strength of the Lord. Be who he made you, the fruit of his spirit, the new nature is in you. Let it flow. <laughs>